All right, welcome back, everybody. Now, I got another good one here for us. I'm hoping so, at least today. Uh, this one is how the U.S. has ruined Italian food. I'm very curious to get into this one. I mean, obviously, you know, the 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 U.S. likes to put their own spin on a lot of things, and our foods aren't world known as being very good for us. <laughs> so, I'm very curious to see, you know, what he has to say on this one. And yeah, without further ado, let's just get started. Let's let's get and see what he has to say. I'll be the first to admit Americans are pretty ignorant when it comes to authentic Italian cuisine, which is kind of fun. I think it's pretty ignorant how we are with any authentic cuisines. Funny because the average American eats 40 pizzas per year. I went inside grocery stores in the US. No, I eat more than that. <laughs> I mean, come on. In Italy, frozen chicken parm and penne. And I even ate at an olive garden. 1600 calories. And let me tell you, there is a lot that I've learned. See, a few years ago, I met the CEO of Barilla. Yes, the company that makes a ton of pasta and sauces. Barilla is the biggest pasta maker in the world. And during the cooking I class, like I started too. to crack the spaghetti in half before putting it in boiling water. He stopped his other interview and shouted toward me. Dio, ti prego, no, no! because Italians don't craft their pasta. They just let it boil as it is. And let me just tell you, that was the first of many things I've learned that we're doing totally wrong. See, Italian food is a massive industry in the US. More than a million- Is it, is it that big a deal that we crack our pasta in half? I'm just genuinely curious, you know? people in America work at Italian restaurants. It's a $54 billion industry. That's bigger than the entire economic output of most countries. But to really understand how important Italian food is to Americans oh, and how so much we've changed the original recipes, let me take you inside a grocery store in the US. Oh, and if you're American, you're used to this. But if you're Italian, you might cringe. For six dollars, you can get a frozen chicken parm and penne, or you can get a chicken Alfredo and penne. Rooted What's in that? Italian is that That's supposed to be Rilla like a. Is an Italian company offers this. Like an authentic Italian, from what I read, I could be Seven ten Americans wrong. have frozen pizzas in their freezer, just waiting to be popped into the oven. The U.S. has learned to mass produce, preserve, and even simplify Italian food, and our love for everything Italian is only surging more and more and more. See, in the past two decades, we went from eating about eleven pounds of Italian cheese per person every year to today, where we eat more than sixteen pounds. Things wow. are just getting faster, quicker, cheaper, and bigger in the U.S. But how does this all compare? to Italy where a lot of this food originated from. I went to Italy and stayed with my friend Luca. Take it away, there's no in Italian word to say to go from. Yeah, he's definitely Italian. <laughs> the experience of shopping inside a grocery store near Milan was unlike anything I've actually experienced before. At the beginning of the grocery store, you have this little bar that sells everything from tea, coffee, beer, wine. Not in the U.S., you know. To go. I, I don't think they. At least not around me, cups. or that it's I've all ever meant seen. To be enjoyed or consumed right here, right now. That's pretty cool. I kind of wish we had something like that. That's pretty cool. Huh. to go stay away sometimes there's no in Italian word to say to go okay why you have to go stay here two minutes and enjoy this is there an Italian word for efficiency efficienza <laughs> you see, eating a meal in Italy isn't something to be rushed through and checked off your to-do list. It's an experience, a family gathering. There are no microwavable pastas because it's not about cheaper and faster. It's about quality time and enjoyment of life. The U.S. has more than... I love that. I I absolutely love that. And I'm... It's, I mean, that's, you know, that's how I was raised, is we would sit around the dinner table and eat. 
So I, I absolutely love that. In 75,000 Italian restaurants. But the most iconic of them all is this Italian restaurant chain, Olive Garden. This is a restaurant chain with 900 locations doing about $3.6 billion Jeez. in sales. For I figured it would be bigger now. the entire economic output of the country, Aruba. For those who have never been to an Olive Garden, well, here's what it's like. The menu is pretty huge. And if you look at the dinner options, everything that I see has well over 1,200 calories. Could I order the tour of Italy, please? But I don't actually eat. Does the, is the lasagna vegetarian or it has beef? Um, yeah. Do you have marinara sauce on the cheese ravioli farm? Do you like instead of lasagna, head and farm? Or we can do another? As my third? Or no, that's separate. That's perfect, yeah. We're on the same page. Thank you so much. All right, that's good. That's good. I love me some Olive Garden. I can't. I love it. Mozzarella sticks. They also give you unlimited dipping sauce to dip bread or mozzarella sticks in. Also, they give you unlimited bread baskets. This is the Tour of Italy. It includes chicken parm, fettuccine alfredo, and either lasagna or tortellini. 1,600 calories, and the price is about $19. All right, I just finished. I am stuffed. Food coma, carb coma, super full. What's ironic here is this. Italy didn't make Italian food go global. The U.S. did. See, Italians came to the U.S., Americans modified the recipes, and then the U.S. influenced the whole world. Even Olive Garden has locations in Mexico and Dubai now. Aquí los ingredientes se transforman en generosos platillos que enamoran. The U.S. has one of the most diverse cuisines in the world. For obvious reasons. We're a land full of immigrants. And when it comes to Italian food, we can trace it back to the late 1800s when many Italians immigrated to the U.S. and eventually made the country their new home. When Italians okay. came to America, they brought their old traditional recipes to the U.S., but they didn't stay the same. Italians brought with them the Italian street food, like pizza and pasta, which soon became super popular. But here's the thing. Italians in the U.S. started using a lot more meat in their food than they had been using in Italy because it was available everywhere in the U.S. and because Italian immigrants earned higher wages compared to Italy, which allowed them to buy more meat, chicken, sauces, and seasoning. Isn't there, isn't there like an Italian sauce, like their most pop or their favorite one other than maybe like just here and there or something? Isn't it like, I don't, I don't know how to say it, like bolognese or bolognese or, isn't it like, Sausage and sauce, and that straight from. Hmm. I could be wrong. Meatballs are so much larger in the U.S. than they are in Italy. Drenching pasta in red sauce might be common in the U.S., but not so much in Italy. In some cases, some Americans even kind of feel like Italian cuisine is American. One of the best examples I can think of is some Americans actually thinking that pizza is American. Oh. <laughs> but I think maybe Italians are actually glad about that because. We messed up their pizzas so much. I mean, we literally add pineapples to it. So maybe Italians are actually embarrassed associating their high quality gastronomy. Today, more than one in 10 people will eat pizza in the US. And as a country, we will spend $38 billion on pizza this year. In fact, $11 billion a month. I love pizza. I, pizza. I want to try an authentic Italian pizza. Like delivery. Each second in America, 350 list. slices are being eaten. But now let's compare how pizza in Italy started, but how it now looks in the U.S. You would rarely ever have authentic Italian pizza that has meat on it. <laughs> on the other hand, you would rarely have American pizza that doesn't have meat on it. In fact, we call that kind of pizza vegetarian. We literally have a label for pizza that doesn't have meat in America. A traditional Italian pizza would have thin crust, while Americans love their pizza thick. An authentic Italian pizza is usually tastefully simple, with no toppings or maybe one. Americans, on the other hand, would have a huge variety of toppings. <laughs> in fact, I think we ran out of ideas when we created Hawaiian pizza, pineapple and ham. 
Qua come la pizza cana non sta colpa. Taglio, che stiamo paese le pizze, le pizze mangiamo tutte io. E che stiamo a no? La pizza non la mia mamma which isn't even Hawaiian. The reason people call pizza with pineapple Hawaiian is because pineapples are famously grown in Hawaii, so someone decided to call pizza with pineapple on it Hawaiian pizza. So if that's not your thing, don't go after Hawaii. Side note, I love pineapple pizza. Let me know if you agree yeah. with me in the comments. You seem like somebody Authentic who would. Italian pizza is elegantly healthy and tasty. They usually use organic olive oil, fresh tomatoes, garlic, and oregano. Versus Americans usually use a slow cooked tomato sauce that often comes in a jar. And on top of all of this, there is dessert pizza, which for mm. the sake of the Italian trigger warning, I won't even get into in this video. Italian food isn't just delicious. It's a massive industry that employs millions in the US. And let's be honest, pizza is often associated with some of our best memories, especially from childhood. But the US took a cuisine that started out as healthy Mediterranean diet and turned it into something with three or four times the amount of fat and calories. But then again, isn't that just capitalism? Well, I don't necessarily disagree with him with how the US likes to screw up food because we're very, very good at that. Our food is not good for you. It tastes delicious, but it, it's not good for you at, at all. We all know that. But I'm very curious. Um, if you know, if anybody in Italy is actually watching this, let me know because I kind of feel like this video was a little not very good personally. I mean, it didn't really give me much on the differences. And I've read other places that Italians do put meat on their pizza, and I'm I'm, I'm kind of more confused now than anything. So, if anybody in Italy has actually watched this you know finished this video please let me know how correct this guy is um and if if he's totally correct then i'm just being ignorant and here we are so i'll learn from it um but anyway thank you all so much for watching the video leave a like if you haven't already consider subscribing to the channel joining me on this journey um it's free it helps me tremendously and you can undo it at any point in time uh share the video with all your friends and everybody just have a great rest of your day thank you all